So you just got your first 3D printer and you're wondering where to go now. If you got your first 3D printer, you probably already know, but you need to use filament to 3D print with. This is a plastic material that comes on spools and all of the models that you'll be making are made out of it. But where should you get your filament from and what type of filament do you need? There are two different thicknesses of filament, 1.75 millimeters and 2.85. However, almost all 3D printers nowadays use 1.75. You'll be able to find what kind of filament your printer needs in the manual or if you look it up online. So which filament do you use and what are some good brands? There are many different types of filaments and this means that there are many different chemical compositions of filament that you can purchase. The most popular and easiest to use is definitely going to be PLA or polylactic acid. I've never met a beginner 3D printer who doesn't use PLA as their first filament, and even though everyone starts with this material doesn't mean that it's not good because experienced people like myself who has 6 years of 3D printing experience still use PLA on a daily basis. The reason people choose to use PLA is because almost any 3D printer can print it and it's super easy to get started with. Most PLAs print anywhere from 190 degrees Celsius to 225 degrees Celsius. This is relatively low for a 3D printing filament, so it makes it super easy and super versatile across any printer. Another reason that people use PLA as their starting filament is because it is so widely available and it also is pretty cheap. I get a whole kilogram of filament for around $12.59 in PLA. And this also comes in hundreds of different colors, so you're able to pick out which ones you need, which is really great for multicolor printing. Most of the prints you've seen on this channel have been in PLA, and I continue to use it as my main filament. There is also different variations of PLA, such as silk PLA, which is usually shiny. There's also matte PLA, which a lot of people really like because of the finish it gives you on the prints. And then there's the specialty PLAs, which include co-extrusion or tri-extrusion or any of these super shiny filaments like this. Co-extrusion and tri-extrusion filaments are super duper cool because they give you amazing effects on your prints when you spin them around in the light. Co-extrusion filament is two different colors in one strand of filament, and tri-extrusion filament is three different colors. These generally also fall into the silk category because they are generally shiny and silky. So if PLA is so great and there's so many different colors for such a cheap price, then why doesn't everyone print in it? Well, the biggest downside of PLA is its strength. While it's a great beginner material and is super easy to print with, it also is super easily broken. PLA by nature is a super brittle material, so often the prints can snap in half. So this is great for multicolor prints or models you're just going to have sitting somewhere and not really for functional prints. Also, PLA has a super low melting point, which makes it easy to print with. However, just leaving it out in the sun or in a hot car for too long will melt your prints. So, what are your other options for filament if you want something that has higher heat resistance or is a little bit stronger? Your next option for 3D printing filament would be ABS. ABS is actually used for a lot of injection molded parts, including Legos. ABS is a lot harder than PLA as well as being a lot more heat resistant, however, it is significantly more difficult to print with. One of the biggest issues with printing ABS is that when it's melted, the fumes are kind of toxic. This means that you need an enclosure with a well-ventilated area. ABS also tends to warp a lot. This means that it's a lot harder to get a perfect bottom surface on your prints. However, its heat resistance and hardness makes it a lot better for functional prints. ABS is also fairly cheap, and sometimes runs even a little bit cheaper than PLA. All these factors make it super appealing to use ABS for functional prints, however make sure that you have an enclosure on your printer. Another material is ASA, and this material is super similar to ABS. I've never tried ASA, however it does have good UV resistance as well as strength and impact resistance. But it does require an enclosure and is a bit more expensive than ABS. The next filament on the list is PETG. This is another super common filament and a ton of people use PETG. Generally, PETG is a bit more expensive than PLA but not by very much. PETG is great for high strength and high heat resistant parts. 
PETG is less of a filament that you would use on something like a detailed model and more of a filament that you would use for something that's actually going to be functional. PETG is pretty easy to print with, however, it does often warp. Warping on prints like ABS and PETG happen because when the filament is heated up it expands, but when it cools down it shrinks back down. This causes the prints to often release from the bed and that's why you have to print with a higher bed temperature. You can always use adhesive and you have to use adhesive for PETG on textured PEI build plates because they will chemically bond together if you don't. So when you're printing with PETG, add a thin layer of glue stick onto your build plate and this will act as a barrier between the PEI and the PETG. Most filaments are hydroscopic which means they absorb moisture from the air. If you leave your filament out in the open for too long it can lead to it getting waterlogged which means you'll then have to use a filament dryer like this one eoboss sent me i am not sure if i said that name right filaments like petg nylon and tpu get waterlogged super easily which makes your prints bubble up and you're gonna need to keep these very dry pla abs and asa will be all right out in the open for a pretty long time and i've never dried any of those types of filament because i use them pretty fast However, my PETG and TPU, I have to dry all of the time. And I've been using this dryer for a little while now, and it works really well because it rotates the rolls as they're drying. It has a ton of different modes and presets for all the filaments, so it's super easy to dry them. And I would highly recommend you check this out if you're new and getting into 3D printing and thinking about printing some of the hydroscopic filaments like PETG, nylon, or TPU. You might be thinking, well, what is TPU and nylon? So let's start with TPU. All the filaments we've gone over so far have been solid and they don't really flex very well. But what if you want rubber-like prints? Well, then your best option is going to be TPU. This is a flexible material and it gives you some amazing prints and they look really cool. And it's also really cool that you can make flexible things. For instance, you can make things like a phone case or something to protect a device. Or in my case, you can make the blades to your sabers a lot more durable and safe to use. You're going to have to print TPU a lot slower than the filaments I've talked about previously. This is mainly because it's flexible and hard to push it through the nozzle. You're also going to need a direct drive setup on your printer because a Bowden style won't work because it'll just kink up in the tube. TPU can be a little bit difficult to print with, however, it just takes a little bit of getting used to and then you'll be set. This filament is very hydroscopic and you might need to print while it's being dried if you have a long print going. Also, add a layer of glue for this one to also act as a barrier, just like for PETG. The final filament I'm going to be going over in this video is nylon. Nylon is an engineering grade filament and can be pretty hard to print with. I've never personally tried printing with nylon, but I do have a roll of carbon fiber nylon on standby. I'm going to be trying this out in the future but I just haven't had a chance to try it yet. Nylon is a super rigid material and is great for anything that you need to be functional and super stiff. It offers great strength, but it can be pretty expensive and is super hydroscopic and hard to print with. This is definitely not a material for beginners and I haven't even used it after six years of 3D printing. You're definitely gonna need a dry box while you're printing this because it'll absorb water so quick that your prints will mess up halfway through. So those are all the different polymers, but which is my favorite filament? One of my favorite filaments to print with, and this is because it just looks amazing and doesn't even look 3D printed, is carbon fiber PLA. Any filament that has any additives such as glow-in-the-dark powder, carbon fiber, glass, wood, is going to need a hardened steel nozzle. If you're just using a normal brass nozzle, it'll eat it up so quick and you'll have to change it after a few uses. Carbon fiber PLA is one of my favorite things to print with because it just looks so amazing when you use it. Carbon fiber PLA gives you a super matte finish which hides the layer lines of your prints super duper well. I also love marble PLA because of the same thing. The little marble chips in the filament hide the layer lines and make it look like it's almost not even 3D printed. All these filaments are great, but what brand should you be buying from? Before I even start, I'm not sponsored or told to say any of this by any of these companies. I just really like these filaments, and these are my honest opinions. My personal favorite brand for filament is Newmakers. They offer really good filament that's very affordable, and it comes in great packaging. They have PLA, ABS, ASA, PETG, Silk PLA, and PLA Wood. 
All of the filament I've tried for them works really well and works great in the AMS system. I have a 10% discount code from Newmakers, which is EA10. And before you say anything, yes, I do make commission when you use that code. However, I have an affiliate link for a lot of different companies, so I have no real incentive to promote one over the other. And I truly and honestly think Newmakers makes the best filament. Other filament that is great is Polymaker. They have a ton of colors and a ton of selection, and their filament is great, and I've printed with a lot of it. There's also eSun, which makes some great filament. Hatchbox is another one of the biggest competitors out there. And then we have Everyone, which is also great filament. There's also Overture. And then a bunch of 3D printer companies make their own filament like Elegoo, and a lot of people like their filament because their prices are very low on Amazon. Bamboo Lab makes their own filament, but they're generally priced a lot higher. Those are the top brands out there, and there are many other smaller brands that I'm sure you guys like too. My favorite place to get tri-extrusion and co-extrusion filaments is Fix Dry, and I also love Cookie Cad filament because her filament is amazing, so definitely check her out. So comment where you get yours from, but definitely try out Newmakers because they make amazing filament that you won't be disappointed by.